Hello, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Modalis dropshipping platform. The first thing you want to do, once on Modalis, we are going to go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to tap on start for free. By the way, with this platform, you'll be able to build your own brand if you want. You can also use them for dropshipping products, so you'll be able to source dropshipping products using Modalis. So once you have tapped on start for free, you will be redirected to this page. From here, you can choose to either sign up using Wix or you could scroll down and you could enter your first and last name, email address, create a password, then your business name. For this example, I will be using that. So I'm going to be signing up instead of using Wix. So let me do that real quick. After you have selected retailer and have filled in the information, all you'll need to do now is tap on the platform that you're using. For this example, I will be using Shopify. So I'm going to select Shopify, then tap on sign up. And you can see right here, I'm currently on the Modalist dashboard. And this is how your dashboard will look. The first thing I'm going to be doing is sourcing products. And to source products, all you would have to do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on find products. After you have tapped on find products, you'll be redirected to this dashboard on which you can see right here, you could use their print and demand platform as you can see right there. If you don't want to do that, you can simply go over to the left hand menu option again. And from there, you could tap on ready to sell. After you have tapped on ready to sell, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, you could type in the type of product that you'd want. So let's say, for example, I want to sell bracelets. So I'm going to type in bracelets right here. Then tap on enter. After I've done that, you will see the bracelet options that they have. So you can see them right here. And you can see that all of these bracelets are from AliExpress. So to add it to my store, all I would need to do now, you would simply tap on connect store right here at the bottom of the page. Then I'm going to select Shopify. If you are using Wix, you could select Wix. Then you are going to tap on next. After you have done that, you are going to need to paste in your Shopify URL. So let me do that real quick. I'll simply go on to Shopify and I'm going to copy my URL right here. Then I'll go back into Modalis and I'm going to paste it right here. Then tap on next. So you can see that it is connecting. Just give it a few seconds. And you'll be redirected to your Shopify page on which you are going to be installing the Modalis app. So let me grant it access real quick. So you'll tap on install app in the top right hand corner. You can see right here, the store has now been connected. So all I have to do is close it. You can see the store has been connected. So I can simply tap on select store. Now that I've selected my store, I can go over to the left hand menu option again, tap on ready to sell. Then again, I could type in bracelets. So let me do that real quick. Tap on enter. After doing that, you're going to see the different bracelets again. And I'm going to be showing you now how to add it to your store. So all you have to do is scroll down once you have found one that you like. For example, this one, all you'll need to do is tap on add to import list. Once you have added it to your import list, you can go over to the left hand menu option. Tap on import list. After you have tapped on import list, you are going to see the item that you have added. Then you can see the product name. You will need to cut down the product name. So let me do that real quick. Then you can add the product type right here. So I'm going to simply type in bracelet. Let me do that real quick. After doing that, you can scroll down. And from there, you can add in the vendor if you want. 
and also if you have a collection that you would like to add it to you can add it to the collection right here you could create a collection and add it to it but for now i'll simply add it to store so i'll tap on add to store and you can see that it has now been added to my store so if i were to go back onto shopify go over to the left hand menu option and tap on products you are going to see the bracelet that I've added. So you can see it right here. So all I would have to do is simply tap on it. After I've tapped on the bracelet, from there you'll be able to edit the product page. So you could make any changes to the title. You can also change the description. And you can also choose the different images that you would like to add and all of those stuff. So by simply scrolling down, you can do the different changes that you want. And if you would like to remove a variant, you can do that. You can also set the price if you want by simply tapping on edit right here. After you have tapped on edit, from there you'll be able to set the price. So let's say you would like to sell this for, for example, $10. You could type it in right there. So let me do that real quick. At the moment, you can see it is in Jamaican currency. So if I were to type in $1,000 right there. Then I'll simply tap on save. And you can also remove any variant you want. Let's go back into Modalis. And once in Modalis again, you'll see all of the products that you have imported right here. And by scrolling down, you'll also be able to view your orders. So you could tap on orders right there. So once someone purchases one of the items that you have uploaded onto your e-commerce store, you will see it right here. So you'll see all of the orders that you have fulfilled and so on. And if you would like to connect more stores, you can also do that by tapping on connect your store. You could tap on add a new store and you'll be able to add a new store right there. But I'll stick to this store right here. Then you can also go over to the left hand menu option again. And from there, you could tap on Alibaba and AliExpress. After you have done that, you could connect either one of your accounts. So if you have an Alibaba account or an AliExpress account that you would like to connect, you can also do that by simply tapping on either one of the platforms. And that's basically it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. And by the way, on the free plan, you'll be able to add up to 25 products. But if you want to go on the paid plan, they also offer affordable paid plans as you can see right here. It starts off at $30 per month. And with $30 per month, you'll be able to add up to 250 products. And if you go up to $67 per month, you'll be able to add unlimited products. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.